Hey everyone, it's Kelly again, and I just kind of recorded while I played around tonight and thought um, that what came out was some things that might be useful for people. So there's a tag that I made um, out of some extra ink, and I was just playing around. I bought some new stamps today. I just had a, just a couple things I picked up at the store today, and I really liked how that tag came out. And it was $1.99 for those ditto. Um, stamps and they're super super cute they're like perfect scale for tags so i thought i'd give them a try i got a stencil today with some lettering so um and that's the the name of the stencil art minds i got it from hobby lobby i believe if i remember correctly either hobby lobby or michaels so um that the tag with all the vibrant colors on there was kind of what was left over after i was stenciling the other one so i just grabbed a tag and picked up some of the colors that I had and then I added some green on there and I really really love how vibrant those colors are but I was recording and I thought you know what maybe I can just kind of demonstrate if you don't want those colors as vibrant as they are and you just want to tone them down a little bit there's a couple ways to go about that I know we've kind of talked about this before but I don't know I just I think this might help some people so so what I did was I laid some gesso down and first I let my brush be a little bit wet so, you know, if you water down the gesso, it doesn't have, it doesn't tone it down as much. So I watered it down um, just a little. There was just, I just didn't dry off my, my real coarse brush very well. And then I just dabbed it on there. And then, you know, heat set it to dry it. And it still winds up, you know, those colors bleed through that gesso, which is fantastic. Love it. And they bleed through that and that is a great way to just tone it down just a little bit and if you want to just tone it down less you know then you would um, just put the gesso in there and you just add just a little bit more water it's just something you got to kind of play with and I did it both ways so that's what it is with the gesso with a little bit of water added and as you can tell it did tone it down a little bit and for what I was looking for I needed it toned down a little bit more so even after you add the water once you dry it dry off your brush really really good a little bit more gesso and then just dab it on there and I show you right there just dab it on there and just dab it all over just loosely however you want to do it if you want stripes do stripes but I wanted it just kind of randomly toned down all over and this gives those um, I'm sorry guys I didn't even tell you it's dilutions ink is the background that I'm using because I'm like into that lately so um and the colors are just so so gorgeous but sometimes you don't want them as um, vibrant and as sharp as they are so you don't need another ink you don't need to buy something new you just need to um, kind of alter what you've got so um, there was a little clap there because it toned it down to pastel -y colors which is kind of what I was looking for and there I'm just I've got two craft sheets the craft sheet on top is my dirty messy one and the one on bottom is one I try to keep a little bit better so anyway so there it is and I'm messing around with my light here just trying to show you guys um, how it changed and how I love that look I think it looks great I, I love it so something to try if you guys are interested in doing that and then um, I was just playing I thought you know what I've, I've gone this far with this tag and I really like the other one that I had created so I just figured I should try and do something else. And I'm just going through. That's a new stencil I got today as well at Hobby Lobby. $1.99. Super cute. And again, just messing around with it. And um, another reason why I decided to do the voiceover and just kind of share this video with you. Because sometimes I'll record myself while I work and I and I don't share it. But um, the reason why I wanted to do this one is because I made a boo-boo on it. And, you know, I learned from it. And I learned how to work around it. And I thought that maybe this would be helpful for some newbies too because the whole mixed media thing is just a learn as you go type of thing you know I haven't taken any art classes I haven't done anything like that it's just something that I'm interested in and decided I would do so um, I you know when I was stenciling you know it didn't work out the way I wanted it to and you'll see it here real shortly but but um, I found a way around it and I was really pleased with what I found a way how I found a way to work around my boo-boo so that's bubblegum pink. My fingers are totally bubblegum pink tonight. <laughs> kind of funny. 
But, um, and those stamps in the background, those are Prima stamps. I still haven't used those. I love them, and I cannot wait until I can use them, but. So here I decided to do the butterfly stamps, because I really liked, I don't know, butterflies and pastels just kind of work with me. So I just cover up the little angel, little fairy angel one, and nothing was staying put, so I decided to get some scotch tape and put everything down. So, and as you can see, I was not paying attention. Maybe it was the Chardonnay at dinner. I'm just kidding. No, but, um, so the, uh, once I tape it down, there's a part of the tag showing. Hello. And the ink's going to get on there. Wasn't really thinking right there, was I? So I spray it on. I obviously sprayed it on too much. So I get my journal and my um, mop it up page. And I think, cool, I'll mop it up. But look at what just happened. My stencil was all jacked up. It did not come out right. So, and I think it's because I've just put way too much ink on there. I should have just lightly sprayed it and been done with it. But I way overdid it. So, um, maybe you guys can learn from that too. It's just a light spray is all you need on there. Maybe a little farther away. And I would have had a really nice... Um, just kind of dusted image of those uh, butterflies. So that's my boo-boo and I'm perfectly okay with that. You know, this is just, I'm learning it and, and there's no mistakes in this. Is I've, I'm in that mindset. Let me tell you, the freedom that it provides is fantastic. Do it. Just slap stuff down and be done with it. But anyway, so there, you see that there's a line right there where my bubblegum pink went on there. So now I'm just kind of going through, hmm, how can I hide that? Because this is just a tag I'm just doing for fun, and, you know, all of this stuff is for fun. So I just put some of the washi tape down, the Tim Holtz um, tape, and just sprayed it with some inks, matching colors, and that was the turquoise um, Dilutions ink right there. And wasn't enough, and I had sprayed it all over my, all over my stuff, so I'm just kind of cleaning up. So I did the turquoise and then I tried some more of the bubblegum pink and I just kind of played with it until I got the color that I wanted and then slapped my mop up page on there again. <laughs> so I, I tried to waste as little as possible. So I was just messing with the colors until I got it to what I liked and that looked good. And then um, my whole reason for doing that tape thing was to kind of hide that little boo-boo there for my stencil. And um, I've never done anything like that before, but I, you know, I think it was kind of cool. It's very random. And I just laid it down. It had some print in the back, and the washi tape was kind of cool. I just slapped it here and there wherever wherever I wanted, no rhyme or reason to it, and covered up my boo boo. And um, then that is. I don't think it focuses. I tried really hard. It's just my white jelly roll pen that I'm just loving lately with my multimedia stuff. I really love how it just makes things pop. You just outline it and doodle and, and go on there. So first I tried doodling around those butterflies. Maybe I could highlight it a little bit more. And that didn't work because the whole image was just messed up. And then what I'm showing you right here, it's not focusing, but it will eventually. It's a soft charcoal pen. I just got those today. And um, I really love that that pencil it's um it's like distress ink on the on the edges you know it, it's 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 like that but you put it exactly where you want it doesn't only have to be in the edges but I'm, I'm limited with distress ink to where if i want to distress something that's already down on a page i can't do it i'm going to ink all over the place with the ink tool and it doesn't look right with this charcoal pencil i can draw on wherever i want and you just rub it with your finger and it and it smudges together. I really love it. I'm, I'm really, really happy with it. And I'm, I'm so glad that I bought it. So it really helps when you're um, going around. Thinking. And I saw Rachel0113 um, use this in one of her um, art journal pages. And that's that's why I bought that. Because I just thought that would be fantastic to, to be able to shade around things that I have already laid down on multimedia projects. And then... Um, what I also did was I decided to, because I was going to use ink around the edges, but I decided to, you know, this is the first time I'm using my charcoal pencil, so I decided I would just go around the edges and, and kind of display on the video, too, that 
that you can distress the outsides just like you would um, the ink. And that package, I got a soft, a medium, and a hard pencil. And I got it from Hobby Lobby. It's in the artist section. And shoot, my package doesn't have the price on it. I want to say it was $5.99. So, and there's three pencils, you know, so they want it being a couple bucks a piece. And with my 40% off coupon, you spend like nothing. And these pencils are going to last for a really, really long time. And they're not going to dry out like ink does. So, something to consider. I, I love that it lets me pinpoint exactly where I'm going to put stuff. So right here, this is where I'm trying to go, okay, what am I gonna do about those butterflies because highlighting and everything wasn't working out. So I decided that I would take some gesso and my trusty cheap brush and re-stencil it on. And um, then the pink, I'm really liking taping down my stencil. It really makes it easier because it's jiggling all over the place and you're freaking out to hold it down. So just scotch tape the sucker down and be done with it. But so I just dab it on there and I did it kind of thick because I knew the bubblegum pink in the background was kind of kind of be like a shadow behind each one once that image was gessoed on. And um, that's how I kind of fixed that stenciling issue to where it didn't give me a nice crisp image. and. I like it. I thought it looked really nice. Considering it was a big boo-boo to begin with. So, completely unique. So, you know, after I just started, I was happy with that, but you know, I'm just not done. Obviously, there's more stuff that needs to happen here. But I liked that because now I had a much crisper you know now you can see it's not just a blob of pink it's actually a butterfly a couple butterflies on there otherwise it just looked like somebody sneezed some pink on there <laughs> kind of gross I'm just drying it trying to make didn't want any bubbles this time but bubbles are I'm usually okay with bubbles I think they're they add cool texture to it but so then I just take the charcoal pencil and do a little bit more highlighting and rubbing around it just to kind of highlight it. And again, I'm just playing with my new charcoal pencil, seeing what I like and what works. And again, really like it. And it cleans up pretty quick. So here I'm just trying to find my stamps and what else I want to do to it. Again, it's just recording as I go, so sorry if this part's boring. But the voiceover, I can't really speed something up, otherwise I'm going to mess it up. So, And here I am with those <laughs> with those stamps that I love. I love those stamps, and I, you know what? I cannot wait to use them. On It just wasn't right with, with this tag and this little thing I was working on. So I think I eventually, nope, I choose not to use that. Then I grab my basket of stamp, basket of stamps, and I figure maybe some type of foliage type of stamping would work better. So, and I, I really like those baskets, by the way, that basket right there. They were, you can get them 50% off and they're usually $5 baskets. Um, and I keep a lot of my stuff in there. You know, there's, I've seen other people's craft rooms and they're just, oh my God, they're so overloaded with things, so much stuff. And I think that's fantastic. I'm really good for them. And that's, that's great. And, you know, I got a lot of stuff, but I'm sure I, I just don't have that much, but those baskets, I have these wire shelves in my craft room and I just put the baskets up on the shelves and pull them down as I need them. The stuff that I need pretty quick, I just keep on the desk or in the Sterilite um, storage things around me. Um, and I think it's pretty organized, pretty well organized. Um, but the the baskets, I think, if you're looking for something to keep things in, you know, they just slide right on the shelf and they're really convenient. The only thing is, you know, dust can get, get in them. And um, I mean, that's just part of it. I'm okay with that. I dust things. Anyway, just want to talk to you guys about the basket. So here are the stamps I finally decided to use. I think these are really, really pretty, like, 
they're flourishes, you know, but they're kind of florally. I don't know. I thought they went really well. So I wound up just um, stamping those on here and there randomly, and I really liked how they were wispy, and it just went really well. with the butterfly theme. So, but the problem there is that I, and I only have um, the black archival ink. I don't have any of the different colors. I wish I did, but you know, and I'll get those, but um, the black is great. It, it pops really nicely on, on everything. But the other colors I have are Memento, and I don't think they're gonna stay on there. And I liked the way the tag was. I wasn't willing to experiment with different inks on there for stamping at this point. So I was kind of liking how it was working out. Didn't want to make make another mistake after I fixed the first one. So I finally got the flourishes the way I liked them. And then I still wasn't done with it. Just not really that happy with it. So um, my trusty Jelly Roll pen winds up coming out again. And I'm sitting here going, hmm, I know I have a pink one. Which Jelly Roll pen do I want to use? And of course, I went right back to white. Because I, I needed to offset those, those flourishes a little bit. They needed to pop out. They were just, it wasn't working. So I just added some little white dots on them, just kind of doodling a little bit, but I didn't go crazy with my doodling. I just brought attention to there was design in the background. That little, one little simple jelly roll pen makes a world of difference it's so funny and I just keep relying back on it so and then I'm just sitting there kind of rubbing my fingers those are my thinking fingers apparently <laughs> just couldn't decide what I wanted to do but it needed something more so I thought that I would just very lightly hit the high parts of the gesso on the butterflies. And maybe that would help out, which it kind of did a little bit. It was really, really subtle. And then I still wasn't, I was like, no, nope, not quite done with it just yet. Hmm. Put my hands up. Hmm. What else do I want to do? And then, um, just pulling out my other tags, just thinking, hmm, what did I try in these other ones? Just kind of going through the other tags thing and should I just be done with this one and put it in my group of tags and call it a night or maybe I can get some inspiration from in here. I was just kind of get going through them all going, hmm, what do I want to do? And then I decided, well, that one didn't fit because I put an eyelet through it. <laughs> I wound up tying some ribbon to it and just adding it to my tag stash it's like my little tag mixed media journal so out come the stickles when in doubt stickle the heck out of it right guys <laughs> you can't go wrong when in doubt sparkle it up stickle it up so all the colors that I had um, this all was really 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 pretty which is what I had it's a pink but there was already a lot of pink on there, so I decided to go with um, just, I think, I think I chose diamond stickles. I think I showed it. Maybe not. So I'm just adding just really, you know, not a really thick, thick layer of the stickles. I'm just kind of rubbing it in. I'm just adding the stickles to each butterfly. And that did it for me because I, I think that that's what I needed. And um, I was okay with having some sparkles. 
and then I just added a really tiny little dot to everywhere that I put the white gel pen and just had it sparkle a little bit here and there. And then as it dried, the colors came through the stickles and it actually went from pink, it turned a little green. It was kind of weird. So now it has like a green tint. Yep, it's diamond stickles. So there it is. See, when in doubt, stickle it. When you don't know what else to do, slap some stickles on there and call it a night. So I was real happy with how that one turned out. I thought it was unique, a little different. And made some mistakes and found ways around it. And it was a really, it was a good journaling expert. Well, it was good mixed media journaling experience this evening. So, and there's some pictures of the couple tags that I had done tonight so thank you for watching a little longer than I had hoped but it's a work in progress and sometimes that takes time so leave me comments let me know if you have any questions thank you